And I'm rolling that ball up then. What the heck? The uh, fingers. And into the palm. And the pads of pinky. And the thumb. And across the knuckles. And let's take the ball into one of the hands and squeeze. And then the other and squeeze. Back to the first. And into the second again. And we'll go around the back. Switch. 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 And in between the legs, you're a switch, 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 and the ball on the floor. Assess how the feet are feeling. Make a note of the ankles, the knees, the hips, and step on the ball right in the middle of the foot. Press down three times. Up two. The knuckles pressing down once going across. Scoot across the knuckles. Bring the ball to the top of the heel and pivot on the toes. Bring it to right below the first knuckle and press down. To the side of the top of the heel and press down. And then over to the middle of the fifth metatarsal, press down. Roll down each bone. And scribble. Three, two, one. Release. And reassess. Go to the other foot. One, two, three knuckles. Screw it across. And at the top of the heel, scoop. Press on the three points. Roll down the bones. And scribble. Three, two, one, release, reassess, get that ball out of the way, 
And let us do some workshops this morning. We'll go seven through the middle, and then we're going to go from top to bottom on the diagonal. So start up here, come all the way across the body. One, two. And then the other side. And let's shake the tree. center. Nice breath in and twist at the waist, swing in the arms. And center. It's an ocean wave breathe. Fingers and thumb at the base of the spine, stepping out together in starlight. Centering. I'm doing the same in the other direction. Centering. Let's walk. March or jog. Oh, it's Saturday. It's a seated day, but we got some new, a couple of new things today. Uh, seated posture exercises. And one for the biggest nerve that we did, I don't know, about a year ago today. Neglected, and I'm going to bring it back while we're sitting, sitting seated. This is a good one to do while you're seated. And I uh, bet was in the after class. All that sitting is too much. So you know, do whatever you want to do here to get that heart rate going. <laughs> what you're doing right now? I'm going to go a little faster. I'm going to jog. Be safe. Five, four, three, two, two. Ten. Twenty.
And third. Two deep breaths. Interlace the fingers. Raise the hands up ahead, overhead. Reach for the sky. Come on down, bend back. Back to center and in one direction. Then the other. Back to center, lower the hands, press out of the chest. And bring them down. Interlace the fingers behind the back. Raise the hands. Little higher. Come on down, shrug. Roll back. And swim. Reverse it into a backstroke. And a breaststroke. your hands in front of you at 90 degrees and retract back and hold two three and release and back squeezing those uh, shoulder blades together and release and then back one more time Bring one arm across the body, squeeze in at the other. And then the other. First hand behind the back, squeezing down and in. And then the other. And then grab both elbows and rock side to side. Come on down, rotate the head. Reverse. Nod. And go ear to shoulder. Look up. And down. Over one shoulder. And then the other. Look up. 
Let's go into a side lunge. Other way. Turn to one side, press on the back heel. We're going to do the hamstring on the chair later. When we bring out the chair, we'll do our hamstrings. Turn around, get the other calf. Come on up and grab a stick. It is a booyah stick day. So let's start with some flip flops. And stop and make big circles in front. Reverse. And laterally. And then go in the other direction. Let's bring the stick behind the back in the crook of the elbows and the twist it to waist. And if you can, lean back. Come on up. Tuck in the chin, pick like a pigeon. Keep the nose straight, don't have it up in the air. Straight ahead, looking straight ahead. We can stick up to the neck and twist the body, keeping the head and hips facing forward. Bring the stick up over the head, down below the waist, back up over the head, and if you can, behind you. Otherwise, just up to the top and back down. And then bring it to the shoulders and flop the wrists. And push out. And then bring the stick to the middle, step back, hold on with one hand, two hands, or a finger or two. Come on up on your toes and back on your heels, holding for about a second in each position. And let's do it 15 times. Four. Six. 
13, 14, and 15. Let's bring the stick up to the shoulders. We're going to, now again, we're going to do the balance exercise where we come up to the toe and then lift the foot. If you want, keep a stick uh, in one hand on the ground if that's uh, better for you. Lifting uh, all the weight is on one foot. We got it on the toes. We're going to lift the foot. Maybe move it around a little. Maybe not. Depending how you're feeling. And then we'll start moving the stick a little. If it feels right. Three, two, one, and down. On the foot, and again, if you need to, just put the stick down on the ground. Three, two, one, and down. You might want to hold on the stick. We're going to get a chair. As I mentioned, um, I do the hamstring on the chair today. Just putting your heel up on the chair. If you need to, hold on to the stick. Lean into it a bit. Stretch that hamstring that way. And then the other. Okay, let us sit down. I'm gonna do these uh, posture exercises I got from Yoav Supern, who is the person who we've been doing the functional exercises from. Uh, a very nice little small book called Active Aging that he recently published. So when we're sitting as we get older, you know, yeah, but you see this with kids too, you tend to slouch, C-curve in your uh, spine. And what you want is an S-curve. A lot of people will be back on the back of the chair and they're watching television or eating like this or looking at their screens. So what we're going to do is move forward into the chair. And it's always better if your hips are above your knees. So if you have a cushion or you got an adjustable chair where you can make it higher, make your hips slightly higher than your knees when you're watching something. It's easier to keep a straight spine. And what we're going to do is go into that slouched position, hands on the knees. You're in the middle of the chair. You're not against the back. And just come up into 100% straight. And then go back into the slouch. And up straight into the S curve. I'm going to do 10 reps. Three, but looking straight ahead, actually, I was bending my uh, chin to my chest. And that's not how you watch television. So look straight ahead as you do this. Uh, C curve, S curve. C curve, S curve. This is six. And again, this is an exercise you can do when you are watching Anna or whatever you're binging on. And I think this is 10. Now, what you want to do, it's hard to sit up straight at 100%. 
that he will tell you as, and you will feel. So go to 90 and try to sit there for as long as you can, uh, you know, making note of how everything is feeling, uh, the way you pay attention to your breath uh, sometimes, um, and keep it at 90. Now, eventually, because of years of uh, not training these muscles, you're going to get tired. So what he says is, all right, relax. Don't go all the way down, but maybe go to 50. And stay there for a while. And then go back to 90. And when you get tired, go back to 50. And maybe you even have to be at 80. So that's better than being all the way down. So adjust it to uh, however it feels better for you. But the idea is to avoid or to build up enough muscle so that you're not always uh, slouched over. The other exercise on the chair is leaning back against uh, the back of the chair is uh, hopefully about mid, mid back. And this is to help the kyphosis in the lumbar, in the uh, thoracic spine, in the middle of your spine, where you're hunched over. So, what you want to do is bring your hands to your neck, your elbows are straight out, and make, make sure your, stair, your chair is steady on the ground, but lean back. You know, now don't go back as far as you can, just go back to a point that's comfortable and hold and come back out. And we'll do five or 10 reps of this. Three, four, let's do five. And come down. And then you can move. I'm going to take this cushion out because it's a little bit slippery. Make sure yours isn't. Move uh, your butt about an inch away from the back of the chair. And put your hands back where they were. Elbow straight ahead. Lean your back. And come back and forth again another five times. And then finally come out another inch. And now it should be coming right about to the top of your uh, shoulder, the bottom of your shoulder plates, I'm sorry. And of course, if you can't do back extensions, you shouldn't be doing that. I should have said that up front, but you know that. All right, and finally, vagus nerve runs all the way down. Very essential to things like being uh, anxious. Let's bring the right hand up to the top of the head. We're going to tug the head slightly towards the right shoulder. We're going to look up out of the corner of our eyes, looking left. And just look out of the corner of your eyes up left and hold for about 30 seconds. 19, 18. And release. And then left hand, tug towards your left shoulder, look out of the right corner of your eyes.
six, five, four, three, two, and one. And there's a couple others. Um, I just want to give credit for that. I got that from uh, Suki Baxter, who has a website called Whole Body Revolution, and she got it from a book called Assessing the Healing Power of the Vagus Nerve Self-Help Exercises for Anxiety, Depression, Trauma, and Autism by Stanley Rosenberg. Okay, uh, let's stay seated as we do our breathing. Again, it's the last day for a rapid turtle breath, Stephen Coe's second energizing breath. We bring the uh, chin down to the chest, tongue is on top of the palate. We inhale as we come all the way back. And take the tongue off the palate and exhale, coming down again. We'll do seven. Ready? Exhaling with the shh. Take a nice breath, rub those hands together as you move the chair. And form a chibo. And center. Two breaths. And let's open our hearts. Pause and on the exhale, send it out. Center. Two breaths. And bring down the heavenly chi. We go down to gather up earth chi. And ah, <laughs> no mistake. All right. All right, indeed. Thank you so much. You're very welcome. Good Thank you, Tom. You. You're welcome, Mira. Take care. Whoops. Thanks, Tom. Thank you, Tom. Hey, Don. Take care. Yeah. Bill and Marlene. Um. Let's see. Well, we got we got we got a few folks left. <laughs> We're gonna do the Tibetans. 
Um, hopefully your spine is ready after those seated exercises. Um, I'm gonna step back again, remind you that if you want, twist at the waist, swing the arms. Otherwise let's do up to 11 turns. And then when you're done, take two breaths. I'm going to switch the camera to the floor where I will meet you. We'll be on our backs. And hands are by the side, under the small back if you need support there or on the neck, uh, under the head, if you need support for your neck. Soles of the feet are either on the floor as they are in the modified position or extended in unmodified. Either way, head, neck, and shoulders come up as either the legs come up or the soles come up off the floor. Right back down, we'll do 11. Starting now, one, And when you're done, we'll lie back and relax. We're going to roll over and get on our knees. Hands on the thighs and glutes. If you cannot do back extensions, just rock back from the knees and come forward. Otherwise, come on back. And then forward is one. When you're done, take two breaths. Yeah, come around and sit down. Hands are either by the side of the hips with the fingers facing forward, or some folks prefer behind the back with the fingers facing away. So if the feet can be on the floor, or the legs extended. Either way, you can do inverted table. That's one, two. And 11. Take a couple of breaths.
over onto all fours. In the modified version, we go into a cobra. Unmodified, start in the down dog, come into an up dog, you do 11, however you want to do it. It's one. Down, turn around, sit up, cross your legs. However, it's comfortable for you today. Take two breaths. So we're going to rotate at the waist, either sitting up or coming down. No animals to disrupt that today, so I will go down. We'll do six in one direction, five in the other. And when you're done, reverse the position of your legs. What was in front goes behind, what was on top goes below. I'm going to do five in the original direction, six in reverse, stopping on the last round to stretch out and do two rounds of four, 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 four box breathing in each position. Center, left knee, right knee. Here we go. Stretch it out. And box breathing. I'm going over to my left knee. Yeah, the right knee. Oh. 
Thanks, Tom. You're welcome, Suzanne. Take care. Have a great weekend. I was just going to say the same to you. <laughs> and we both we will both carry through on that. <laughs> Me too. All right, Have Marie. a good one, all. Bye you bye. Too. All right. Bye bye. Bye bye. Eva, y'all, I'll see you later. <laughs>